Hey, 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 guys, it's Sean G back with another video. Thank you guys for tuning in to another one of my videos. I really, really appreciate it, guys. Guys, I just wanted to get on here and do this story time for one reason and one reason only, guys. And that's to try to help somebody else uh, who is dealing with it. And uh, hopefully we can come together and help each other out as best as we possibly can through that life experience. That life experience, which entails, when I got surgery done on my nose to remove three polyps, I was told from my last pre-op, this was six years ago, this is just how long it's been, guys. And I would think that, you know, most of the symptoms that i uh been dealing with uh, since uh, the surgery that probably would have just, you know, alleviated itself or gave me some type of relief. But unfortunately, that's not the case of anything. It didn't cause more of a problem for me. And I'm dealing with it, guys. And before I go into what it is and what I'm talking about, um, I had three polyps removed uh, from my nose. I had two over here and one over here. It was actually closing up uh, the space where I can breathe through my nose. Uh, the polyps had actually went over almost over here, well, across here. And the other one that was back there, and it was actually uh, blocking uh, my airway as far as uh, me breathing through my nose. While I was up in, uh, me and my daughter was up in Florida while I was under doctor care during that time, I had ran across another doctor, and uh, she had noticed something, um, basically uh, from uh, the look, I guess, she caught on my face, um, and she asked me, um, do I suffer from Bell palsy? And I looked at it, and I'm like, what is that? I don't know what Bell palsy is. And uh, she said, can you stick out your tongue? And I stuck out my tongue just like that. And she said, have you been paying attention to the direction your tongue is going when you stick out your tongue. She said, I also noticed that on this side, which is my left side, that my muscle mass is leaving as well. And I'm starting to get this droop uh, over here on this whole left side. Um, I knew at that point that it was something similar to what my ENT uh, doctor was trying to explain to me, but I didn't really catch exactly what it was that she was saying because it was so much at one time, and the only thing I wanted to do was get back home. Uh, I didn't want to hear any more what I call bad news. Bad news can be good news too, but in this case, I've been dealing with medical issues, as I done told y'all over and over and over uh, throughout the time that I've been on YouTube. So, I didn't want to hear nothing else. Uh, she did tell me, that my ENT doctor, she did tell me that uh, since I did have those polyps removed, it will change my sense of smell. Matter of fact, it will heighten my sense of smell. And... When she <laughs> stated that my uh, sense of smell will be heightened or could be heightened, I didn't think that it would be to this level, guys, even six years later. And I'm finding myself continuously since I got this uh, surgery done that I'm having these outbursts. And I'm saying things and, you know, yeah, people that don't know, you know, I just leave it at that as they just don't know. And the assuming, it, it's just over my head, guys, because I'm not the type of person to go around assuming nothing. If it's something that I need to know, I look, I'm going to ask. 
<laughs> and like I say, ain't no shame in my game, guys. Uh, and ain't no need of being embarrassed or nothing either when I'm trying to figure out what the hell is going on and why. But anywho, guys, my smell over the years has heightened so much, guys, to where I get these outbursts. And before I know it, I'm grabbing my whole face, my nose and my mouth. And I'm like this because I didn't got a whiff or something that's burning my nose so, so bad. And it's always over here on this left side. And it burns so bad that my eyes tear up as if I'm crying. And it burns so bad and it caused me to start having these pressure headaches right over here, right where I got my finger at, right there. And it goes all around my eye. And then it goes this way and it goes in my ear, around my jawbone, and then it goes down my neck, and then it goes down my left arm. I've been back and forth to the doctor to uh, have them to check it out or whatever. Um, they said it probably has something to do with nerve damage or whatever. And reason being is because at that time, guys, those two sisters, one was sitting like up under my eye socket. Uh, and the other one was like catacorner right there. So it was laying right there between this socket. And uh, it was actually uh, pressing against a nerve. And uh, when the lady doctor in Florida uh, discussed this with me, I was like, this sounds like something what like my ENT doctor was talking to me about, but she never brought to my attention that uh, this could possibly end up uh, being bare palsy. I'm not claiming nothing, guys. I just see what I see. I feel what I feel, and I'm learning what I need to learn from my own body and my own body life experience. So this is why I'm sharing it with you guys. The left side of my face, guys, is steady feel, look like it's swooping, I guess, of the drooping, <laughs> swooping, drooping, whichever one that makes sense to you guys, uh, that also, even with the side of my mouth, guys, it will begin to droop, and I'm also losing the muscle mass uh, on this left side. Uh, my jaw muscle here, you guys can see that. Probably because my jaw is so fat, guys, you probably wouldn't be able to tell on camera. But over here on this side, you guys see how much fullness I have over here. But it's not that much fullness over here. I'm going to lick out my tongue for you guys. It's not that I'm doing it on purpose. This is just what my tongue is doing. Y'all see how it's flipping over there to the left? She said that's a sign of Bell Palsy, and she gave me a a, a little, uh, not a pamphlet, but uh, she had gave me some paperwork uh, uh, describing what Bell Palsy is and how it affects uh, the facial features and all of that, but I'm not worried about no facial features. I'm just more concerned about my outbursts, guys, because, you know, people can get offended, you know, by what I say because I'm brutally honest. And uh, I don't be meaning no harm, guys. It's just that what my body is responding to. And this happened to be with my sense of smell. Hell, with me going through what I've been going through, uh, in these last six years from this water contamination. Hey, I be thinking I stink or feel I stink, but I know that I'm not dirty and I know that I bathe. Uh, my hygiene is best that I can have my hygiene. Um, so I know that will never be the case. And uh, it shouldn't be the case for nobody, really. Uh, but anywho... Uh, no personal attacks, guys. But anywho, um, I myself uh, be feeling that way, and uh, I smell certain things too, and I get an outburst, and 
I'm the type of person to ask. <laughs> I'm telling y'all, it didn't got deep. And I ain't looking at it as no psychological thing. I'm looking at it for my truth and what I believe my truth to be. I'm responding to something that has heightened my senses and I'm trying to deal with it in the best manner that I possibly can deal with it, which is why I'm sharing this part of my life with you guys in hopes of reaching somebody else who have been through this type of uh, surgical procedure and uh, what uh, your sense of smell uh, uh, has, uh, if it has heightened, guys, uh, leave down in the comment section. How are you dealing with it at this point? Uh, what measures have you taken uh, to try to get some relief? Or if it's just something that you chose to just deal with because I done ran across uh, some stories, guys, probably right before I came on you. No, it wasn't right before. Yeah, it had to be because I was up in Florida. And uh, one person had this very surgery that I'm talking about. And uh, it was because they wanted a new nose or whatever the case may be. Mine is not that case. I needed that medical procedure to uh, get done because I couldn't breathe out my nose. Uh, they had actually blocked uh, my breathing as far as my nose, so I didn't have a choice but to uh, uh, go through the surge. But this person had went um, and got a surgical procedure done to fix his nose uh, from a prior uh, procedure and it messed up that uh, whatever y'all call it thing uh, for your nose that gristle thing but anywho everything just went downhill this person got depressed this person had S thoughts, y'all know what I'm saying, and just didn't want to be around anymore, guys. And it's sad that you will have to go to that level, not saying purposely go, but people go through things just like other people go through things. And if you don't have the proper support that you need to help you get through any challenges you may face, it makes it that much harder when somebody out there just don't have nobody or think they don't have nobody and the end results is like, why talk after the fact? You wasn't there when they were crying out, but why talk after the fact? So I'm just bringing awareness to what I feel will be uh, extending the olive branch to another fellow, sister, or brother who may be going through what I'm going through or what I've been going through. And uh, I just want to encourage you, whomever you may be, to just keep on praying, fasting, and stay in the best position that you can keep yourself in, meaning in a positive way. Even when stress come along, even when I have to breathe. This is why I say this. You have to learn to exhale, guys. It's a lot of pressure that people deal with and a lot of people that's under pressure. And they really don't know how to take that split second to just exhale. But I want to encourage whomever is tuning in to this video regarding this issue with, you know, the uh, heightened of smells, guys. 
Just do the best you can with what you got and know that you can get through it too. If you need me on this other side over here to come over there on your side and get in your comments and say, hey, do you need to go back to this video Sean G made? If you have to, it's going to be there. Because just as well as I need the support, I know you would need the support too. And what better person besides God to help give you that support other than the same position that person is in that can relate to your situation as well. This is why I bring what I bring to my channel, guys. I bring on some other things, but like I say, I talk, but it's what I talk about that matters. I don't get caught up in all that nonsense and all that. Uh, if need be, I say what I need to say and I just leave, leave it at that because to me, that's a distraction for what my reality really is and that I'm dealing with a serious medical issue. And until you have been through it or you going through it, leave it where it's at because that type of help is no help for people like me or somebody like me that's going through it. We on IN call that melon. We don't mess with melon, babe. We mess with prayer and uh, love and support and uh, togetherness, guys. But I'm going to go ahead and get up off of here, guys. I just want to share that uh, story time with you guys. Yeah, I'm still in the midst of uh, dealing with uh, certain things, and um, I just want to let y'all know that, uh, <laughs> as I said in many of my videos, I can't stop and I won't stop until I get all that God has for me. So with that said, guys, I love you guys, and I thank you guys for tuning into this video. If you guys know anybody that has had uh, uh, this surgery to remove polyps and uh, they're going through uh, this difference in dealing with life in a new way as far as uh, different smells or whatever. Go ahead and uh, share this video with them, guys. Uh, I would love to connect with them and uh, learn from them as well as uh, hopefully they can learn something with, from me because everybody is different, guys, and it's okay. Uh, but we all one and the same when we're dealing with medical issues, no matter how big or how small. Uh, but I always found the reason that we go through things is through a test, to be a testimony to help others that are in the dark, guys. All right, guys, I don't want to get on here and start preaching, guys, but I'm going to get up off of here and I'm going to go in here and make me uh, something to eat. Um, but again, thank you guys for the love, support, shares, comments, and prayers. And subscribe, guys, if you have not subscribed to this channel. Uh, go ahead and subscribe to the channel, guys. I will appreciate the support. All right, guys, this is Sean G. Just doing me. Always remember, guys, to keep your heads up no matter what. I'll see you all again on my next video. Until then, guys, you guys stay safe out there. God bless. <laughs>